This mission series begins when Trevor meets Nigel and Mrs. Thornhill, two British tourists snooping around a stranger's house in Vinewood Hills. Don't mind us. Pretend we're not here. Okay. You're not Jock Cranley, are you? Actor and artist? I love your work! Oh, stunt double? Oh, our favorite show. Mrs. Thornhill, snap! Watch the birdie! Oh, we pretend to throttle me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like you did on that on that poster you did. Yeah, okay, all well, that would be my pleasure. <laughs> oh. uh, like that, huh? Yeah. Oh. Like that. Maybe something oh. like this. Oh. Or like oh. that. Huh? You like that? That's enough, huh? dear. You like that? Oh. 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 oh, hey. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Mm. Wow, that's quite a woman oh. there, huh? Oh. We are not worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. worthy. We're, We're not. not I'm, uh, I'm not Jock. Uh, what's his name? Cranley, big star in the eighties. We well, love celebs. Well, That's why we came to Tinseltown. Yes. Yeah. Before we met you, we were trying to break in to Bruce Spade's house and steal his rubbish. The things these stars throw away. Oh. They're not like you or me. <laughs> Mrs. Thornhill has the most unbelievable collection of celebrity underwear and bathroom products. Things they've actually used themselves. You guys have a great vacation, all right? I gotta go. We could do with some help. All this climbing over walls and rooting through bins. It's such a business. Nigel's got an arthritic knee. Yeah. What do you, uh, what do you need? Just a few Vinewood souvenirs for my mm. museum. No, no, look, look, look at this map. I mean, a lot of these places have famous people living in them and some that are just hanging about. Bring us some things. I'd be very thankful indeed. Americans are the most wonderful people in After the world. After some conversation, the they convince him to help collect souvenirs from their favorite celebrities. <laughs> the places to collect the souvenirs will be marked on your map with orange circles. Uh, pair of fruitcakes. For this mission, you will need to get a gold tooth from the Love Fist band member Willie. He is in a nightclub in Vinewood. Talk to the other band members before you approach Willie. They are on the second floor of the nightclub. You will not get gold if you don't. Hey, that's okay. I want something more personal. Get twat before I kick your ass. You will also need to take no damage during the fight with Willie, to get the gold. You will need to lose your wanted level after you get the gold tooth. Let's say my work is done here! This is a fine automobile! Guess what, you crazy English fruitcake? Oh, I'm dreadful at guessing, aren't I, Mrs. Thornhill? No, she can't hear me. She's washing out a nappy from Samantha Muldoon's dustbin. Yeah, uh, one gold tooth, courtesy of Love Fist, complete with complimentary DNA. Marvelous, marvelous. Oh, Jock, I knew you wouldn't let us down. Toodaloo! In this mission, Trevor must steal a golf club from celebrity Mark Fostenberg. He will be surrounded by three guards, they will attack if you get too close. Fostenberg will also run if he sees you. So it's best to shoot Fostenberg with a sniper rifle from a distance. Hey, where do you think you're going?
once he is dead. Get the golf club from the back of Fossenberg's golf cart. And then evade the police. For gold. Collect the golf <laughs> club in less than 30 help. seconds. I, uh, Headshot Fossenberg and kill his three his security guards. To museum of dysfunction. Oh, bravo! It will take pride of place on the wall above Jill von Krastenberg's pregnancy test. <laughs> Speak to you soon. I love Americans. You're all so brash and uncomplicated. In this mission, you will need to steal Tyler Dixon's swim shorts. You will have to climb the wall and take out the gardener working on a van. And steal the swim shorts, all with stealth. You will not get gold if you don't. Otherwise you will need to lose your wanted level. brains out shit man just take whatever you want okay come on man just put the gun down is this chick your daughter or something Yo, am i getting set up here like for a reality tv show it's take whatever you want man it's not even my house Nigel, please be quick. I'm roaming in the United States of America. It's me and nutcase. I picked up some clothes from your friend Tyler Dixon. There's even a skid mark. What fantastic news. Wait till Mrs. Thornhill hears about this. Oh, she will be pleased as punch. In this mission, you will need to steal a jewel-encrusted collar from a celebrity's dog. Stay, Dexy. No biting the fat people. Hey, Gary, when you I approach the target, her dog fan. will run. Dexy, Be sure Dexy. to stay as close That's to the dog fault. as you can, to get gold. With the collar, Trevor walks away okay, and the mission now, ends. Now get back to Jerry before she uses this as an excuse to go back to rehab. Chalk! Celebrity newsflash! Maniac steals collar from Carrie McIntosh's dog in Rockford Hills! Oh, how delightful! Mrs. Thornhill will have me sporting that in the bedroom before the week is out. <laughs> oh, I, I, I joke, of course. <laughs> we really can't thank you enough for all the effort you're going to to make our holiday so special. Ah, don't mention it. I always enjoy meeting people more chemically unbalanced than myself. In this mission, you will be chasing and kidnapping Aldi Napoli, 
for Nigel and Mrs. Thornhill. There you are, Jock. Hmm? Yeah, I got you that stuff. Oh, great. Thank you. Where's your wife? Mrs. Thornhill, she's mm -hmm. not my wife. She's got a husband and two lovely kiddies at home. We met online. It's no nothing sexual. Where is she? Well, she's been trying to throw herself under celebs' wheels. <laughs> well, well, she can throw herself under my wheels anytime. Oh, <laughs> I knew you were funny, Jock. Yeah. I knew I would like you. C can I have a hug? Okay. Yeah. Uh, hug, yeah. Uh, Come here. Come here. Uh, I've got a pr protruding hip. It's not a semi. Nigel! John, no. you won't believe what's happened! What? Only Al Dinapoli walking. He actually walks! He walks walk among, among us. us! Well, then what are you freaks waiting for? Well, that's a long story. Of mistaken identity. And a lot of lies. Stalking is not what I would call it. Not me! I told the judge I thought it was unfair. Yes, anyone's trousers could have come undone at that point. Exactly. Jolly bad luck, and we were such fans. Mm. If only we could talk to him. Yes, I know it was only his lawyers and agents. They ruin everything. If we could only get him somewhere private. You see, like that little lockup I know. No problemo. Look, there he is. Oh, shit. It's that crazy English again. Nigel, he remembers me. To the chariot. Jock, you drive. You must Wait, use Nigel and away. Mrs. Thornhill's car to pursue Dinopoly. Come on, Jock, get in. Hurry, we're going to lose him. He's taking a left turn down the high street, Jock. Did you ever imagine we might get a private audience with Al Di Napoli? Only in my wildest dreams. All those nights spent... We'll never get that deposit back. All those nights spent role-playing in Mother's utility room. If only we'd known. I loved him in The Redeemer. Oh, Nigel. The oh, fire oh, car! Oh, yeah. Do your Elton Emily line! This is turban warfare! <laughs> I hear that behind his charitable public face, he's remarkably... Maybe I should have driven. He's... Careful! Find out! He's remarkably right-wing. One can but hope. Liberal in the bedroom. Conservative at the border, Mrs. Thornhill. <laughs> I love this country. What on earth will we feed the man? I hadn't even thought of that. He probably eats sushi or quinoa. Is that even how you say it? What if he wants meth? Don't get flustered again, Nigel. You'll have another turn. Glad to see you on the proper side of the road, dear boy. He's going into the car park. The car park? No worries, mate. Oh, I hope he likes us. How could he not? This lockup you prepared sounds charming. Just? Oh, my giddy aunt. Everything okay there, Earl Crazy Cakes? My prostate has taken quite a beating. Do you have to lower the tone? This must be second nature to you, Jock. All those stunts you used to do. And we saw you're up for governor of San Andreas. That's right. In between openly attacking some... We'll never get that deposit back. The higher car. This level of derangement, I'm impressed. We didn't say kill the poor man. Is he going through the hospital? Oh, my Lord. Hold on to your corsets. I know. We'll never get that deposit back! For gold. Don't That's lose sight true. of Aldi Napoli. Don't hit anyone in the hospital. Do not damage Nigel and Mrs. Thornhill's vehicle. Oh, come here, you! Come on! Come on! Let me meet your biggest fan! Ah. Oh. Crazy! Oh, it's Aldi Napoli! Me. Uh. You're good to go. Ah, a true gentleman. This is so exciting. 
Nut jobs. In this mission, Aldi Nobly is giving Nigel and Mrs. Thornhill problem, and they want Trevor to take care of it. Oh, they're not like you or me. Ah! Ah, apart from you, Jock. <laughs> Would you go and get him one of his favorite pizzas? No. Well, then I don't know what to do with him. I mean, he hasn't eaten for a few days. You've kidnapped a major movie star, okay? Now, you can either leave him somewhere and hope he's been sufficiently scared shitless to stay quiet, or you can send him on the kind of trip he won't come back from. Oh, a trip! Such fun! Oh dear, oh dear, what a palaver this is! Decisions, decisions! If you could just handle this, Jock... Aldi Napoli can be heard yelling from the trunk. Get into Nigel's car, in and drive the car. Napoli towards the railroad crossing. Favor. I'm really not one for goodbyes. Hello? Hey! Hello? What's happening? Who are you? I'm the man getting you from A to B. Uh, a being the trunk of this car and B being a horrific scenario of my choosing. Oh, God, please, no! I, I, I have money on me! Lots of money! Good to know, Al! Good to know! I'll be sure to grab that after we're done. Oh, Please, let me go! I thought you were a big, tough action movie guy! At this point, you are given two options. Pull over and release the Napoli. Or kill him. If you release him right away, he will give you $3,000. Don't listen to all those movie critics! What are those crazy old bricks with you? Just me and you, honey bun! Did you have fun with those two? <clears throat> I've decided to accept your kind offer on the understanding that you keep your mouth shut. Unless, of course, you want to be returned to uh, Sir Fruitcake and Lady Scaroolus back there. No, 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 I, I promise to... Uh, here, take it all. Just... just let me go. Hey, keep making terrible movies, Al. If you keep driving, Aldi Napoli gives you $10,000 to release him. If you decide to kill him, keep driving. Ow! Oh, see, you can't act! Don't listen to all those movie critics! Are those crazy old bricks with you? Just me and you, honey bun! Did you have fun with those two? They're harmless, aren't they? They are not harmless! Those the things that woman may be due to her feet. Ah, you lucky boy! Older women are to be cherished, like a fine cheese. Sometimes the rind is the best bit. What do you want? Cars? Yeah. Where are art? I just can't lose the art. I don't know what that. You barely know me, Al, and you're already judging my cultural standing. I find that very offensive. There must be something you want. Other than a cheeseburger, a cold beer, and you shutting the hell up, I'm all good. Whatever they're paying you, I'll double it. They're not paying me anything. And why are you doing this? Whoa, one, I'm a bad person. Two, I understand that love takes many forms. And three, most importantly, you've seen all our faces. I've made the mistake of not tying up loose ends once before. I will tell so, I promise. We both know you'll go straight to the police. I won't. I swear it. I could give you $10,000 right now. Park well, the car on the tracks, and the train up. will destroy Time the car and scene. kill the Napoli. For me. gold you must kill Al Dinobli using the train and exit the car before the train hits. Just jump out of the car while it's moving. Jock, we've been worried sick. I regret to report the sad passing of Mr. L. Dinopoli. Train accident, very sudden. I loved that man. We will remember him always, the way he was on TV, before we met him. Not that any of us met him, of course. 
You two enjoy the rest of your vacation. Please subscribe. Click next for the next video. Or, click previous for the previous video.